The hybrid war waged by Russia against Ukraine evokes not only military resistance, but also informational resistance. To counteract the Russian information war, the International Information Consortium, Bastion, started its work. The consortium cooperates with Estonian non-government organizations and has preliminary agreements with representatives from Poland, Georgia, and Latvia. Members of the consortium plan to establish an information resource to track the trends of Russian propaganda and disinformation. The strategy of public diplomacy for the Crimean Tartars, which is also counting on the support of international organizations, is aimed at spreading objective information around the world about the situation of the Crimean Tartars on the occupied peninsula. Crimea has been occupied by the Russian Federation for nearly more than two years. With the unlawful annexation of the peninsula, persecutions of Crimean Tartars have intensified. In 2014, the Tartars were banned for the first time from taking part in actions dedicated to the day of deportation of Crimean Tartars. Members of the Mejlis, the executive body of the Crimean Tartar people, were terrified by persecutions and arrests on dubious charges. In the last two and a half years, six criminal cases have been opened against Crimean Tartars in accordance with Russian anti-extremist legislation. Four of them were against journalists. Lots of our people have been repressed and scores of people have been kidnapped. Some of them were found dead, others are still missing. These crimes are committed by authorities of the occupation against the local population, in particular Crimean Tartars. They do this to cast fear into the hearts of the local population and to force them to leave the peninsula. This policy of exile has been used by colonists for centuries, and it today is being used in Crimea by the Kremlin. People of religions other than the Orthodox Church of the Moscow Patriarch are also being persecuted. Members of the Orthodox Church of the Kiev Patriarch, Muslims and Protestants have also faced this problem. 14 of 28 political prisoners were arrested on religious grounds, and four of them have already been sentenced to imprisonment on the territory of Russia. International human rights organizations have appealed to Russia to stop its policy of persecution on the peninsula. In particular, the Speaker of the Office of the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights, Rupert Colwell, stated that persecution of Crimean Tartars has significantly intensified. We are anxious about the court decision to prohibit the activity of the Mijlis in Crimea and accusations of this organization being extremist. We are also worried about the searches, interrogations, arrests and blockade of mass media work on the peninsula. We appeal to authorities of Russia to lift the ban on the activity of the Mijlis and ensure the right of freedom of speech, information, peaceful actions and religion for all the inhabitants of Crimea. However, Moscow continues to ignore these appeals and continues with the repressions in Crimea. In response to such a contempt for human rights, the Crimean Tartars have changed their public diplomacy strategy. They are working in the framework of an international project called Defending the Rights of the Crimean Tartar People. The program is supported by multiple organizations, the United Nations Permanent Forum on Indigenous Issues, the Estonian Institute for Human Rights, the Foundation of Development and Cooperation of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Estonia, Commissioner of of the Presidents of Ukraine for the Crimean Tartar, the Ministry of Information Policy of Ukraine, and the Mijlis of the Crimean Tartar people. The strategy is to ensure the rights of Crimean Tartar, the indigenous people of the peninsula. They also work to provoke a more appropriate reaction from the world to the situation on the occupied territory. The strategy is, first of all, to counteract Russian propaganda. This has three main tasks, self-determination of the Crimean Tartar people, determination of our history, and the consolidation of the Ukrainian society around this idea. It's a good opportunity for Ukraine to prove to the entire world that it's changed over the last 10 years. Ukraine has to join the family of civilized states. It will also help inform the international community about the indigenous people, the Crimean Tartars. This is a fight against Russian propaganda that is trying to delegitimize the status of the Crimean Tartars as an indigenous people of Crimea and of Ukraine.
Це активна боротьба проти зусиль російської пропаганди щодо делегімітизації статусу кримських татар як корінного народу Криму та України. This last item of the strategy is very important. According to the laws of the Russian Federation, Crimean Tatars are considered a national minority, not an indigenous people. It's so insidious. First, they try to decrease the number of indigenous people, and when the population is less than 50,000 people, only then do they consider them indigenous people. Therefore, their whole history, their imperial attitude, is aimed at exterminating indigenous people. And when only a few of the indigenous peoples are left, they pretend to protect them. Fortunately, the Crimean Tatars do not want to be an indigenous people of the Russian Federation. We consider ourselves to be part of Ukraine. Не хочуть бути навіть, якби така пропозиція була, корінним народом Російської Федерації. Звичайно, ми себе ідентифікуємо як частина України. One of the main directions of the strategy is to search for partners who would aid in the spread of true information about Crimean Tatars and who would influence the decisions of their country's authorities. Estonia followed the same strategy when it struggled for its independence. The historical experience of Baltic countries, in particular Estonia, shows that in 1991, when Estonia gained its independence, it needed urgent support from Western countries' partners. Due to this support, Estonia succeeded in regaining and consolidating its independence. Authors of the strategy consider the Crimean Tartar diaspora to be a reliable collaboration partner. Cooperation with Turkey is important for Ukraine, not only because it's our geographic neighbor, but also because the largest Crimean Tartar diaspora lives in Turkey. The diaspora there make up five million Crimean Tartars who are proud of their nationality and speak about this openly. Today, our cooperation is technical. There are educational and support programs. In particular, there's cooperation in the spheres of technology and education. We'll continue our cooperation with the Turkish political establishment because Turkey is our reliable partner. We will promote the position of the Turkish Republic to remain unchanged concerning the issue of preserving the integrity of the Ukrainian state and against the violation of rights of Crimean Tartars, which is happening today on the territory of the Autonomous Republic of Crimea які сьогодні відбуваються на території Автономної Республіки Крим. According to experts, to gain popularity throughout the entire world, the public diplomacy strategy of the Crimean Tartars has to be tolerant and not provoke accusations of non-diplomacy. In addition, the project developers coined the slogan to strike the world through non-violent resistance. We should strike the world through creative non-violent resistance against occupation. It's known from history that the Crimean Tartars have never supported violent resistance. But it's not enough to assert itself in the whole world. The strategy favors creating initiatives of non-violent resistance and adding other ideas. Стратегія підтримує творчі, креативні ініціативи ненасильницького спротиву, додаючи деякі інші ідеї, які стосуються цього питання. Jamala's victory at the Eurovision Song Contest is one of the prime examples of the strategy's implementation. It's not enough, but this is a good stimulus to implement similar initiatives and actions. Singer Jamala represented Ukraine at the Eurovision 2016 with her song 1944, dedicated to the tragic events of the past, in particular the deportation of Crimean Tartars. After the song's performance, millions of spectators from all over the world got to know about the tragedy of the Crimean Tartars. Organizers of the public diplomacy strategy have been feeling the opposition of Russia since the first stages of implementation in May 2016 during a permanent forum on indigenous issues. We tried to understand how Russia could stand against Ukraine, as there are certain rules for holding such a forum. The Russian Federation tried to exploit the forum for its own aims. Russians advanced several contradictory statements against every statement Ukrainians made. For example, 
The behavior of Russians at the forum made initiators of the strategy change their activity. According to the strategy's developers, they now have two parts, public and closed strategies. The closed strategies aim to inform the international community about Crimean Tartars without the knowledge of Russia. In addition, the strategy's implementation will be more long-term, and it will require the engagement of skilled and highly experienced personnel. The public diplomacy project will be implemented over a long period of time. It can continue for many years. In order to establish public diplomacy, we should have a solid grounding. We need to involve experienced personnel. Considerable attention should be paid to the development of education, conducting training courses on international relations, communications, media and PR. Особливу увагу треба звернути на освіту, тренінги для молодих кримських татар у таких галузях, як міжнародні стосунки, комунікація, медіа, піар і таке інше. We should approve and support the policy of countries, for example, from Poland, which provides scholarships to Crimean Tartar students. I hope that Estonia and Western countries will also provide financial support to Crimean Tartar students. The first important steps towards the strategy's implementation have already been taken. Lots of TV channels broadcast video clips about the Crimean Tartar people. На багатьох телеканалах демонструються просвітницькі ролики про кримсько-татарський народ. У перспективі планується створити фотовиставку, яка демонструватиметься на міжнародних майданчиках. In addition, there are plans to open a photography exhibition that will be held on an international level. According to the strategy's developers, the public diplomacy project has already come into force. Now, it can be put into practice not only by the Medjlis, but also public figures and organizations. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Ukraine can also apply the document. Authors of the strategy are convinced that they will succeed in stopping the violence against Crimean Tartars with the help of international communities. History shows that without concentrated international national action, repression cannot be ended. Let's not forget the 1930s when Ukraine was divided by tragedy. The Soviet Union used cruel methods to attempt to pacify Ukrainians through beatings of opposition as well as through starvation and famine genocide. Ukrainian citizens throughout the world appealed to the then League of Nations for assistance. Now Crimean Tartars have today many more supporters and many more opportunities to persevere against repression. Thank <laughs> you.